Hello, it's Monday, another week of health education and another chance to learn from our mistakes. This school year I'm focusing on one teaching mistake per week and I'm linking in some of that information in the YouTube description. Be sure to check that out right after this video. My final focus each quarter of 7th and 8th grade is decision making. We tie that in with human growth and reproduction as well as sexual health in both 7th and 8th grade. We focus on consent and the decision making process and connect some sexual wellness basics like anatomy, pregnancy, and STIs. The difficult part of all of this is that I'm dealing with preteens and teenagers, of course, so it's about finding that balance of helping them feel comfortable in class, but also keeping them on task with reading, videos, and age-appropriate conversations. I'll link in the video description the resources I use from kidshealthandteenhealth.org so you can see some of the content I offer up to the seventh graders. My discussions in eighth grade surrounding consent went real well, but my mistake came this week as I was trying to guide a seventh grade class through a conversation about pregnancy and the development within the womb. There's just something about that grade level where all of a sudden the wheels can fall off a lesson and you lose the group of students. By all means, I'm one to allow giggling to take place within the classroom because otherwise you really can't gain the respect of the students and we can't have a good dialogue unless we're allowed to have some of that awkward laughter come through. However, at the same time, the end goal is of course to have that content come through and the skill development there of decision making for one's own sexual wellness. In this instance, one class lost their composure and I had to take a different angle on the lesson itself. Going into the future, I want to allow myself to realize that this is a tough, tough subject for any health educator to take on. Not just decision making as a skill, but also the content of sexual well-being. Nothing is ever going to be perfect, so there's going to be some ups and downs in the topic of growth and reproduction, and that's okay. All right, that's it for this week. More next Monday, more right from the health ed classroom, and more mistakes, I'm sure. That's my mistake in a minute. Thanks for tuning in.